Okay, we have these two integrals right here, and you know the deal. Please pause the video and try these two first. Okay, in my opinion, they are very similar, and let's just take a look of the first one right here. Look at the function part. We have sin x, and the other function is secant x. And this right here is to a third power, but think about it, the derivative of sin x is cosine x, and the derivative of secant x is secant x times tangent x. Huh, that's not that good, but it's okay because we know that secant is the same as 1 over cosine, so for this part, we can bring that down to the denominator and write the secant cube x as 1 over cosine to the third power x. So let me just focus on this part, and this integral is the same as integrating sine x still on the top, but we will have over this down to the denominator, and it becomes cosine to the third power x. And of course, that's half the dx right here. And now when you're working with sine x and cosine x in an integral, that's excellent. Sine, cosine, they get along really well in an integral. Okay, well, here, I'm just going to let u equal to cosine x. Just a single power, okay? So I will just put this down, let u equal to cosine x, and we see du is negative sine x dx, and I can isolate the dx to show you guys a cancellation. So dx, it's the same as dividing negative sine x on both sides, so I get du over negative sine x. And you see that this is the integral. On the top, we still have sine x over, this is as saying cosine x and then to the third power, and since cosine x is the u, so we will write the bottom as u to the third power. I just need to let u equal to cosine to the first power x, and this is excellent because you see that dx is du over negative sine x. And the best part among all is that the sine x, sine x cancel each other out. This is why cosine to the first power x right here for the u, it's enough. It's perfect. And let's see, we do have a negative. Let's bring that to the front of the integration. So we have the negative, and then let's write the integral. And we have 1 over u to the third power. I'm going to use the power rule, but backwards, so I will root care this as u to the negative 3 power, and we are in the u world. And to finish this, I will just add 1 to the power, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, and then I will divide it by that power, I will put down 1 over negative 2 right here. And that's how we will show work. I realize the negative is too long right here. <laughs> anyway. Here, we have negative times negative becomes positive, so we have positive 1 half, and we have u to the negative 2 power, so I can actually write that down in the denominator, so u square on the bottom like this. And we're pretty much done. In the end, we can just write the cosine x back to the u, so we have 1 over 2 times cosine x, but that's to the second power, so it's like that. And if you would like, you can actually write 1 over cosine square x as secant square x, and we just have the 1 half in the front. So finally, we have 1 half secant square x. And I think this is a nice answer. I will just leave it like that, plus c. And I usually just put on the plus c at the very end, so yeah. If you guys would like, you can put on the plus c here, plus c here, but in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now let's take a look of this one. I don't have sine x yet, I have tangent x, but it's okay, because tangent is the same as sine x over cosine x, right here, right? And we can just do that, and that's pretty much the way to do it. Okay, so let's look at this as tangent x, it's the same as saying sine x over cosine x, I will put this down in blue, like why not? For this part, I will rewrite sine x over cosine x, and then for the secant to the third power x, and they are multiplying, so I will just put down 1 over cosine to the third power x, like that, dx. And you see, they are actually really similar because this is just the integral. On the top, we have sine x, and on the bottom, we have cosine to the fourth power. So it's just one more power in comparison with the earlier one. Anyway, so on the bottom here, we have this cosine to the fourth power x, dx. So from here, we do the same thing. That u equals to 
just cosine x, and then du will be negative sine x dx. And isolating the dx, we get du over negative sine x. And we'll take this integral to the u world. We see that this is the integral sine x on the top. And then cosine is the u, and then we raise that to the fourth power. And then the dx is that, so I'll put down du over negative sine x. And once again, the sine x, sine x cancel each other out nicely. And we have the negative all the way in the front, and then the integral right here. And then this is the same as u to the negative fourth power, and then du. And what do we do next? Pretty much the same thing over there. Add 1 to the power, and we get negative 3 for the new power. Divided by this new power, we put down 1 over negative 3. And negative times negative is positive, 1 third. And we have u to the negative 3 power, so I can put that down in the denominator. So u to the positive third power right here. And just like what we did over there, u is cosine x, so this is the same as 1 over 3 cosine, let me just put that in red, cosine to the third power x. And that's pretty much secant to the third power. So I will just put this down as one third, secant to the third power, and then we're done, x right here. And put the plus c every very end, okay? And yeah, that's it.